laughed. I thought this was a funny, not humorous in a way of sarcasm. So let's listen. This is Nico House talking about this latest sort of propaganda coming from the Israeli government, trying to counterbalance the information that's coming out about the hostages, the information that's coming out about what's happening in Gaza. So they come out with these sort of propaganda stories. So Israeli President Isaac Herzog has made a very bold claim that Hamas is working with Al Qaeda to produce chemical weapons to use on Israel. Now, his proof for said claim is this pamphlet, perfectly laminated, clean, that was found on the body of a dead Hamas soldier that has Al-Qaeda written in bold English letters. <laughs> I mean, there are so many places to start with all the problems with the... So... <laughs> Uh, what Nico House has pointed out here is is that, like, it doesn't feel like they're even putting effort into uh this propaganda. Like, there's not even no effort into this shit, and and, and he's proves it in this video. I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit because it's pretty funny. This part, how he's pointed out, how it's written in English and big bold letters. But let's listen. Kaida, written in bold. English letters. I mean, there are so many places to start with all the problems with this claim, but I guess we can start at the fact that how dumb do you think we are to believe that Hamas is keeping laminated pamphlets that came from their HP desk jet printer <laughs> that tells Israel exactly uh. what they're planning on doing? Or the fact that Herzog is claiming that Hamas is working with Al-Qaeda to make these weapons, except for the fact that Hamas literally doesn't get along with Al-Qaeda, per Israel's own sources. Israel says that Hamas doesn't get along with Al-Qaeda. Or there's the fact that this top secret pamphlet is actually a book cover that President Herzog got off the internet. Y'all, I'm not playing. There's a QR code. You can scan. This is a book cover. <laughs> it's called, it says, oh, unspecified Arthur. I can't tell. Ramsey. I guess that's the name. I don't know. I was looking for the title of the book, but I don't see it. And it, if you want to go buy the book. In other words, they believe the world is so easily propagandized and so stupid that they can print out a book cover and pretend that it is top secret documentation. It is proof that Hamas or Palestine plans on working with Al-Qaeda to create chemical weapons. Holy shit. I don't know if that says more about the Israeli government or the goddamn rest of the world. I don't even know, honestly. But what we do know is that in arms groups around the world, reports have circulated that Israel has its own set of biological and chemical weapons to complement its nuclear arsenal. What we do know is while they're pointing the finger at Hamas in Palestine, that Israel itself has not signed the 1972 Biological and Toxins Weapon Convention Treaty. Interesting. And what we do know is that Israel has zero problem committing war crimes using weapons that they're not supposed to use because not only recently, but since at least 2009, they've been using white phosphorus on Gaza, which violates international laws. Same plot, different movie. I mean, bro, it's literally like imperialist bingo. Okay, you said terrorist organization, all right. Human shields, all right. Chemical weapons, okay. Islam, okay. And you said Iran, Lebanon, or Syria involved? Oh, bet, bet, bingo! My point is, <laughs> is that they use the same tactics over and over and over again, bro. They lie to justify genocide. They lie to justify killing hundreds of thousands of Iraqis, hundreds of thousands of Afghans, and the way they get you to, to cheerlead and even consent to sending U.S. troops to aid in this genocide is by claiming they're fighting some existential war on terror and claiming that the other side is doing such horrible things that, you know, a few thousand civilians dying, it's worth it as long as we get those bad guys. But in reality... It's the United States, it's Israel, it's all of their little allies that are simply projecting and are guilty of the very atrocities they accuse their enemies of being guilty of. Spot on.